and people will probably hear... them at some point. Maybe. <clears throat> also, thank you to anyone who's in my chat who helped contribute to Matcha's graphics card. Like, honestly, I that was the fastest I had ever seen a uh, a fucking donation pool, like, fill up. That was impressive. I donated, uh, I donated a little bit, and when I did, I was surprised at how high the number was already, so. For pet projects? Ooh. Nice, nice. Sometimes I fear the communities we make. <laughs> I get that. That's understandable. <clears throat> I'm kind of plotting stuff in my head right now. Because my birthday's coming up soon and I kind of want to do a birthday stream. But at the same time, I don't know if I'll be able to. Because I don't know if I'm being dragged out for my birthday or not. It just depends on if I get the Sunday. Quiet today, isn't it? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I got jump scared. <laughs> I got jump scared. What's been new for you, dear? Staying out of trouble, I presume. Kind of. Kind of. Fair enough, I suppose. Mm. Just hanging out. Well, since we have the place to ourselves. At least for now. Mm. I'll cut to the chase. We should talk, dear. We should talk. Uh, alright. Downstairs, you'll find the red room. Uh, all right, sure. Find a seat and get comfortable, please. Okay. Oh boy. Here we go. Let me change my music real quick. Uh, hey there. See you. So hi Paintably, hi everybody. Hi, sorry. I would have said hi earlier, but I got jump scared. A reminder that Jasmine hates this room. It creeps her out. So hi helper. Hi sci-fi. Sci-fi. Hi everybody. Oh, there you are. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's no, alright. How do I put this? Not 
Not too long ago, oh, Malleus had a little soiree. Uh, yeah, the party. Not sure if you were there or not, dear. Pretty sure you were. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, while I was there, Malleus and I had a little talk, and... Oh, no! There I say, he seems rather upset about a very... impolite rumor that happened. Seems to be floating around. Something about you and your mother. Uh, I... I mean, people talk smack all the time. Yes, they do. The accusation, as it has come to my ear, is that apparently I threatened you and your dear mother. Apparently. Jasmine's gonna act dumb. What do you think about that, dear? I... I mean... Even if you did, it wouldn't be anything new. Nothing new? What do you mean? At this point, I think a lot of people are threatening me and Mom, even if we don't hear it. Yes, likely. No, a few. No one surprising. No one you need to worry about either. If that makes you feel any better. No one who's brave enough or capable enough to actually harm you. At least in a meaningful way. Mm. Would you care for some truth, dear? Uh, sure. Oh, dear. Now, of course, what I proclaim to be the truth is up to you. Perception and opinion, after all. I have a great deal of different clients. I have a great deal of mercenaries who come in and out and I give jobs to on the daily. That said, some of them I do sit down with, some of them I do discuss with. What's important is to understand that these things are business. And in these meetings, we do discuss possibilities, possible paths, assets that we could use, strategies that we could execute. But all but one never happen, never leave the drawing board. Making sense so far? Mm-hmm. Good. Someone took in ideation one of these possibilities. I mentioned offhand, yes. To hurt McKay, you and your mother would be prime targets. They took this as a desire, something that I was going to guarantee to happen. Took this. And apparently discussed with your mother. I have since learned about this foul rumor, this miscommunication. And I have been working with this individual since, helping them understand how we actually operate here, educating them. Two, their complete agreement. I haven't kidnapped them. 
and they're being paid. Room and board. Everything they need. Once their term is up, they return to their previous endeavors as they deem fit. Hopefully with a fresh mind and a better perspective. Mm -hmm. Now, what I do see are two ladies who are attempting to adjust to a radically new life, radically different lifestyle. Your mother is taking it easier than you are. But then again, you're far younger and have far more to learn than most. For the cards in your deck, you're playing very well. But there are some tools that you simply do not have. That is the truth of it. I do not feel that you are completely ready. Malleus can protect you, yes. But at the cost of what? Are you used to seeing people die around you? Not really. How much has it happened in the last, how long has it been? A month or two? I've only seen one person die. Why did it happen? She wanted to hurt my mom. And Marius protected her, didn't, didn't he? Across all the different businesses, all the different worlds that he has in his control, all the dealings that he does, both publicly and downstairs. There is a saying that I use very often. Those who sit on the high table spend fortunes on luxuries and pleasures. And to them, lives are pocket change. I guarantee that he didn't even bat an eye when that person passed. But for you, is now a memory that you will hold with you for many years to come. For him, it was just another day at the office. A nuisance. I confess. To some extent, I am the same. Death follows my business. Sometimes death is my business. This is the world you're walking into, Jasmine. Now then, I'm sure that there is a question. Go ahead. Let's see if you ask the right one.
would um would you ever let anyone hurt me would I let someone Would I? It is possible, yes. Do I want it to? No. But there are rules that I have to play with him. And circumstances which tie my hands. Would I protect you? Yes. Will I teach you? Yes. I cannot protect you from anything. But from what I can, I will, and for what I cannot, I will make sure you are ready for, but what that takes, my dear, is trust, not everything I do are things you will like, not everything I say will be things you want to hear. And what others think of me will be tenfold worse. Malleus has seemingly forgotten that understanding. I am a businessman who does business with both the high table and those below and those you will never see those you are better off not seeing To that extent, I have to provide a service that I promise to my clients. They make a request, I fulfill it. You have a choice. Do not see me always as this horrible creature. Instead, consider how this service can be used. Today, we're talking Tomorrow, I may be trying to kill you. The day after that, I could be hired to bring you back. And the day after that, we'll be talking again. You, twice as scared as ever before. And I, acting like nothing ever changed. Do you understand? What is your next question?
I don't really have one. Not yet. But in time. Mm. In time you will. Your mother never came back to me about that seance. For your lost aunt, by the way. Yeah, um, a lot's been happening lately. And like my threatening you. Well, Mom also was on a right trip. Before, it is my understanding that right before I gave that offer, that the rumor reached your ear. I was quite frustrated to hear that. Because I can only assume how I looked in that moment in your eyes. I... Holy shit, chat. Holy fuck. I don't know what to say. I didn't really want to believe it. Believe what, dear? Oh, what was said. And now? I just thought it was the Valentis making stuff up. Yes, Iorio, this is not exactly the ideal time. What is it you've already interrupted? I see. Please let Miss Willow know that I'm already speaking to young Jasmine in the Red Room. She and her bodyguard are free to join us at their convenience. Thank you, dear. As for Mr. Goldier, I'll be there shortly. It appears that I'm going to have to change our tone, dear. Mm. How has school been going for you? I'm on vacation right now, for a couple ah, more weeks. Here I was thinking that with your quickened aging, that you would be going to summer classes. Please, please, Willow, sit down, join us. And who's your little friend here? Uh, the name's Nix. Hey, Mom. Hmm? Hello. Hi, Nix. Hello, Jasmine. How was your trip? It was okay. A lot that needed to be discussed. I'll tell you a bit about it later. Okay. That's fine. I She's been catching me up on some recent events. Just touching base. How have you been, dear? Do I tell my mom what just happened, chat? I don't know if I should or not. I heard that you had a bit of a scare not too long ago. All that sorted? Uh, Something about an adoring oh. fan getting a little too close. Uh, yes, it is sorted. For the most part. 
glad to hear. I assume that's why the new edition. God, I don't know if I should you. tell her what just happened. She's with uh -huh. us today. I feel like Jasmine would, but I'm like but, hesitant. Um, really? Yuri will introduce them as a bodyguard. Not much of their own accord if they're on the job with their clients. Is there a misunderstanding then? I came here on my own accord. It was just making And yet sense. you're here with your clients. Am I mistaken? Not exactly the best friend. Best person to make best friends with. This isn't about me. Also, what have you guys have been saying? Mm. Uh, well, so John's seems... affair. This place looks like super villain. Well, oh, my like team super... I believe you mean the Legion of Doom. But what brings you here today? Just catching up with the little one. At least... an eye on her. Oh, are you here for something, hun? Uh. Wanted to make sure that she was doing okay, since I haven't seen her for a bit. Really? Then what haven't been in the house? Oh, I simply had to go out on a business trip for a bit, so I had to deal with some stuff away from home. Uh, she did have and this people is though. Why you decided to have your her. reunion? Oh, I'm honored. It was more so unexpected. I was. More so trying to find her so that we could talk at some point. But I was about to say, didn't I didn't can I you tell you that I was going to be here? Don't you? Just text each other. No. Oh, I told her I was coming here. I didn't mm, necessarily have the time to the family, it seems. That message her as I had just uh, quickly got here. Jasmine's fucking scared. Not gonna lie, Jasmine's oh, really fucking uh, scared now. Really She's very so scared. She just she felt like she just had a gun pointed at her. She's scared so and she's sad. So you two can have your little reunion. No, it's perfectly fine if you want to stay. You can. I'm <laughs> intrigued though to hear what you guys were speaking about. Hmm. Like I said, just catching up, asking her about any of her studies and things like that. Apparently, she's just been enjoying the time off. My personal opinion is that someone so young should be catching up on their education, getting a head start. Mm. Be ready for, for me, the she's future. Still... She's still a child, so I, for me, it is good to see her at least having fun. She kind of feels like if she says the wrong thing, ah, she's suddenly going to get hurt. It is important to relax every now and then, but not lose focus of the future. Mm -hmm. I've been trying very hard to make sure that Mimi keeps a good work and life balance. It's difficult at times. She's quite the shut in. Even in yeah, life. no, she would definitely not say anything now. Definitely not. She she's way too scared to say anything now. Which is why I don't know if she will actually say anything or not. Something the matter, dears. Oh uh, no. No. No, not at all. You're both just looking down at the table. I sure it's not going to be nearly much as conversationalist as I. Mm. Are you doing alright? Yeah, no, I'm fine. Just a little tired. I hung out with some friends earlier, sleep? so. Oh, mm. was it the friends from Redstone? Uh, no. Um, it was Kiko and a couple of other people. Uh, did you talk to Kiko about? Uh, the last mm -hmm. talk that we had about uh, how I hope she took that well she's a little confused uh, but she eh. she it said it doesn't she says it doesn't count so we're making it a joke that we're you know mm -hmm. but we were hanging out earlier so that's good. 
Hmm. I'm glad to hear. Hmm. I did go to hang out a little bit, um, outside the bubble and waterfront. Talk to Aiden for a little bit. Aww. How's he doing? Uh, he's doing all right. It's good. Mm. And um, yeah, we were just sitting and talking. There wasn't much going on. Mm. I've been meaning to ask, dear. Yes. The party that we found ourselves at, how did you take to that? Was that your first excursion to high society? Kate never interacted with him much. But, <laughs> yeah, no, now Jasmine's oh, like, oh. Really a lot of faces Just there. act like you're asleep. Neither <laughs> than I you had not known. Definitely. I actually knew quite a lot of them already, except for obviously hmm. the newest. I'll stretch and I'll hydrate here in a bit. Thank you. Ah, uh, Mr. Harlow. Oh, yes. wait. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Do I have my drink down fellow. here? Not much I don't. For here, I'll just go ahead and do it now, I think. I have been enjoying reading the news about his work. An yeah. honest seeming man. Not sure if he's in the right line of work for politics, but management, I could see him doing very well. She's also I worried that if she says something, uh, Jonas will a lot of people that do go back on his so word and start telling people about what happened. Speak to him. Hopefully. Because Hopefully Jasmine told him about what happened the with the aberrations, to but she told him not to tell anybody, so she's scared that if she mentions this, he's gonna, I mean, I was hoping he's gonna uh, go back on his promise. One of those gatherings. That would be nice to actually get to meet all of the councilmen. Mm. I will say, speaking to them one-on-one, -on -one, it's very well and good. When you're speaking to them in front of each other, they won't be talking to you. They'll be talking to the audience. They'll be putting on a show. If you want to learn about them, do it privately. Oh, thank you, Weekend, for clipping that. If you're in chat, thank you. Of, oh my, this wine is terrible. By the way, could you do something for me? Weekend clipped what he said about, um, uh, today we could be talking, tomorrow I could be trying to kill you. Because <laughs> that line does go, that line does go hard. I agree. And then again, there are those who send some feisty words back and forth. Just to cause a scene that everyone can gossip about for a few months. Mm, definitely. And they will. My word, the higher that you go onto those towers, the more petty everyone seems to become. Looking for the smallest cracks in the wall. Of course. Jasmine, dear, are you sure mm. you're alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just tired. Ah. Uh, maybe you should scamper on home. Mm. Rest properly. Sounds like you've had an exciting day. Uh, I, I will in a bit. Mm. If life is becoming too much for you, dear. My offer to supply you. Actually, this reminds me. That vacation I offered you a while ago. We were waiting on you. Yes. A test of some sort? Yes, I have already done it and I've already passed. It's just a lot uh, caught up to us. So hopefully soon. That is something we can look for. Wonderful, wonderful. Still on the table? Still interested? I do have a few destinations in mind based on the prerequisites you gave me last time. I will leave. So I'd have to talk 
with my partner about that. See if he's also ah, but so of interested. Course. Mm -hmm. But of course, I'm sure he, if the two of you, oh, and do get Stellaria in on this as well, if the three of you girls are all asking him for a getaway provided by yours truly, then I am sure he will be unable to refuse. Of course. I will definitely bring it up to him whenever I see him the next time. Lovely. Thank you, dear. Mm. Celebrations are in order, and things have been stressful for you as of late. This is important that you refocus and... I don't know if he will or not. Each other as if I don't know if he will. I, I have no I idea if he'll actually say anything to her or not. I get away with the family to I'm kind of waiting them. for him to tell me to leave the room. Exactly. Is there anything uh, you done while I've been away? Um, just hung out with Kiko and Stellaria. That's about it. <laughs> I do have other guests waiting for me, I'm afraid. I should go check in on them at least. Of course. Thank you for understanding, dear. Use the space for as long as you wish. Alright. And of course, call me whenever you desire. Until then. Of course. Thank you. Oh, and Jasmine. Mm -hmm. For you, my door is always open whenever you need more helpful advice. Oh, okay. I'm glad to help show you the ropes of this culture. That they've formed at the high table. Mm. This isn't villain RP, it's just businessman RP. <laughs> if you want to me to leave as well, that's it's up to you. Uh, if you want to walk around for a bit, you may. I won't keep you. I need to talk to Mr. Hemwick myself. Of course. If you need anything, they'll be around. Thank you. Mm. Are you doing alright? I don't think I should talk about it here. Somewhere else to talk? Maybe. I I don't know. You can leave if you want to. I'm going. I feel better I'm knowing that the house for I, I feel better knowing that you're here. He was just talking to me about business stuff. That, that's all. Alright. <laughs> Villain arc. I don't know if you want to continue staying here or not, but I'm free to go back home to sit and talk if you want to. As long as you, you're here and Nyx is here, that it's I'm fine. It was just right. feeling alone that bothered me. Mm -hmm. well, we could talk about it later. Sorry I had to go on my business trip for a bit. No, you're okay. I talk to you a bit whenever we get home on what it is. It's just it was crucial stuff, and I didn't know if it was okay to bring you along for it. 
No, I I understand. I I I mean I was just just hanging out. I wasn't really doing anything anyway. Just hanging out with Kiko and all of them. Of course. We're planning on um going to hang out, I think, next Tuesday, I think. I don't remember where we're going, but... We're just all gonna go hang out and do stuff. Of course. But, um... I don't remember his name, but last night, um... Someone, Kiko claimed it was her grandfather, and I said, oh, does that make you, because the joke is, is that we call each other not cousins, quote unquote, and I said, oh, are you my not grandpa? And, you know, I kind of laughed about it, and uh, Kiko asked, how are we related again? And then I brought up you know, um, Aunt Alice dating Sento, and the moment that I said Sento, he kind of perked up a little, and he said, why do I know that name? And then he said, N no, never mind. So, I, I don't know what that was about. May I ask who the person was? Uh, Saya's dad, I think. I think that's what she said. Saya's dad. I don't remember his name. Rider? Yeah, it might be. What did he look like? Uh, dark skin, long white hair, wearing kind of a nice outfit. And Saya called him dad, so I'm assuming that's who it was. Yeah. And then apparently there was somebody else walking around, not yesterday, but on Wednesday, that Kiko didn't really want to associate with. I think she said it was like one of her uncles or something. I, I don't remember. One of her uncles? Did they have a name? Was it uncle? I don't remember. Void, I think? Void. Oh. I, I don't remember. She just didn't really... I asked her <laughs> if she was okay and he said, and she mentioned that she didn't really want to act like he was there and wanted to pretend that he wasn't there, so. Oh. Mm. The last time I ever heard of these people was uh, your, your grandfather, well, not my aunt, Alice. She had to deal with something with the family uh, um, because she was she obviously was dating uh, one of Ryder's stepsons, Sento. Um, and I, I remember hearing about Void, um, Don, Saya, Curry, all, all of them. And, uh, it probably has to do with past stuff that have happened. Let's just say uh, there's a mix of things that went on. Mm. That I I don't know how much of it I can disclose, but I know that it was a lot. Um, I know that it's something that took them a very long time to all get through. Kiko did say that she just got her memories back because apparently she lost them, so. Did 
Yeah. But... I didn't know about her memories. I knew about some of the past things that have happened, but not that. Yeah, she, you know, didn't really seem too bothered by it. Aside from the fact that she started puking up ink for some reason. But, um, that was about it. I mean, the situation kind of solved itself, so I think it did anyway, unless somebody helped her. I don't know. That might be something you could bring up to, um, I don't even know if they know what happened. I think some of them were there. Um, we're having a get together tomorrow at my, at the home. Okay. My, at our home. Uh, I think Melis and Stellari are coming over and, uh, a lot of people that were actually around that family that we were speaking about, and, um, my, my dad and my aunt's old friends are coming over so we can talk. Okay. I'll tell you more later uh, about what it is. Sure. Um... What was I going to say? Also, may I ask, where was... Where was Ryder at yesterday? Uh, Dragonspire. Hmm. Interesting. Um... I'd like to meet him sometime, if possible. Mm. Yeah, I, um... That's the only place I've seen him at, so... Listen, if you want to go now and talk, we can. I wouldn't suggest doing it here. With, uh... I know. I know. I'm just... Things that have happened. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm just trying to process things. Not only that, but my phone is vibrating a lot, and I think it's because the one chat that Kiko is in is blowing up right now for some reason. It's just random stuff. I don't think anything's happening. They mm -hmm. meme a lot in there. I did meet someone who apparently is also one of my cousins. Um, oh? Apparently he was adopted by Everest. Adopted by Everest? Who? Uh, Chai. I'm not sure who that is. Mm. Oh, me and Kiko were talking about how why we were calling each other not cousin, and um, I mentioned how um, some of Everest's kids call me cousin, and that's when he brought up that he was adopted by her. Interesting. We have an interesting and big family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. You know, that's funny. Before you were born and before I ever 
Well, actually, whenever I was coming out of the gang, I found out that my... that I was adopted. Mm. I didn't think I had any family left. I thought it was just me. But to find out it's actually a lot of people, it was interesting. Yeah. I, um... Oh, um... I did babysit Evelyn for a little bit. Um, Aww. Sapphire didn't really want to leave her alone with me since she weren't around, but I told her that Kana was around, so. Mm -hmm. And she's the reason why I have High School Musical songs stuck in my head now. Because I told her that if she watched them with me, then she could use the songs to annoy Sapphire and get what she wanted. And in return, I watched the movements with her. And, uh, yeah. Then, then that happened, essentially. I know, um... Uh, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. But nothing major happened while you were gone. It was pretty much all... Same thing, so... Everyone pretty much kept an eye on me, so... I'm glad. And I didn't cook anything because I figured you'd be comforted in the fact that I wasn't using the oven while you were gone. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I also did try to make you a few frozen, well, my own frozen dinner dishes that you could have and some stuff that you could eat. Mm. Tried to make as much as possible for you. Yeah. Honey. Yeah, I didn't go hungry. If anything, a lot whenever I hung out with Kiko and all of them, they offered to get me food, so <clears throat> That's good. Wait, hold on. Hold on. My phone is really going off. It Aiden? Um... What's up? Um... I'm gonna look a little weird for a second. Ignore that. Oh, uh, okay. Ignore it. Aiden had an episode earlier. An episode? He... I, I saw him in the waterfront and I was kind of fooling around saying hi to him and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apologies. The space is needed for a meeting. Oh, sure. Of course. We will get out of here so that you guys can use it. Thank you. I'm so sorry to evict you two ladies. It appears that someone requires my attention. Oh no, it's oh, fine. You're perfectly fine. Let's go. Okay. Don't worry, I'll send you little nicks right back at you once they have their fix. Mm. I'm not sure how long we will be staying here, but oh. it, it's up to Perfectly them. Perfectly fine. To Young Jasmine's quite, quite tired, aren't they? Please, see to everything you require. Okay. 
If you need a hastened way home, just ask. I'll put that one on the house. Thank you. I should be fine, though. I'm sure. Now then, let's see what this is about, shall we? But you know how he has that one hand? The claws? Black? Yeah. When I yeah. saw him, he just kind of did this and then held it out to me. And I didn't know what he He's was doing, so I said- done that a few times. Yeah, and I was like, Aiden, hi buddy. And then he kind of did that and he's he kind of freaked out because he- First, he thought it was still Monday. <laughs> and secondly, apparently he was on a mission and someone hit his head. So... And now he's texting me. But the problem is, is that his texts aren't really coming through all that well. So I don't know if he's... I told him we were here, but I don't know if it's getting through to him or not. That's that's the problem. I can't even... I know I can't contact him through comms because we did that already, or tried to earlier, but it just comes through as static, so I, I don't know. I, I have no idea what's going on. What do you want to do? I'm mostly Oh, I see him. Too. He's here. Other technological advances, whether it's on a screen or using technology to simulate it. I share that with Hey, are you okay? I, f I feel okay. You... Uh, you were kind of... I, I don't even know what those messages were. Yeah... Oh, here, got me. Okay. Uh... You want to go talk about it? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we. Do you want to go talk about that? Wait, what, what? What just happened? Did I miss something? Yes, she did. I mean, okay. does, it, does it look weird? Um. Oh my. Oh my. I mean. N not yeah, r r really. <laughs> I, I it just the problem is, Aiden, is that I didn't want to believe it, and you I didn't really want to say anything. But when you were wearing your armor earlier, I could kind of see it under your helmet. But I thought it was just my eyes playing tricks on me. Have you always had white? Yeah, you're a lot more, no more shadow anymore. Defined. At least I wasn't. At least I wasn't conscious when it happened. I guess. Yeah. I. Do you want to go talk? Uh huh. Okay. That'll that'll be nice. I, mean, so enjoy. I I don't. The thing that we need to talk about. I. Geldia is gonna notice it just soon. Yeah. No, I mean the thing that I want to go talk to mom about. We can't talk about it here. Fair enough. Oh, do well, we want to? We... we could leave. do it later. I... You sure? Because right, you just got here, and I don't okay. know if you want to stay here. Or... Well, I'll, I'll leave that up to you. I I'll be right back, though. You two are weird. You two 
two are both weird and crazy, and I'm the one that hears dead people. I hear dead people. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. A lot of people are dead Shut to me. The fuck anyway. Up. Oh, okay. That's a lot. I was making a really bad joke. I'm That's sorry. Yeah, let, let, let's just, just take a time out and maybe call the therapist. Therapy can't That's fucking help me. Are you to... kidding me? Yeah, no, I've tried it. They made a... <laughs> Ironically, we were talking about therapy in the one chat that I'm in with Kiko, and literally almost everybody in it said we don't need therapy. It won't work. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you want to be helped? Not really. I like being quirky. Exactly. As someone that's a medical professional being that quirky also tried to... therapy, it didn't help. I can tell you that much. It didn't help at all. Okay, hold the fuck on. Hold the fuck on, you two. Get over here. Over here. Okay. What? Okay, 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 okay. okay. Why'd you go around that? Why, why, why not? It why not? This is a path that leads up to here, and then you go up here. Yeah, why way. not? Just... This is all <clears> the <throat> same material. Oh, yeah, right You're going here. around it right now. Why are you yelling at us? You just did the same thing. <laughs> Don't just storm into our house, you weirdo! I'm, I'm storming into your house. The door was open. You're such a, you're such a weirdo. Open the door. Yo, mini door. Such a weirdo. Also, did I turn? Did I leave my ceiling fan on? Hold on. Oh. Okay. I did. Mother of fuck. <laughs> Shut up. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm gonna go throw my stuff down in the fridge. I'll be right back. You're wearing heels. Yeah. It's understandable. Uh -huh. <clears throat> <clears throat> I was expecting a Got thing. Got water. I didn't see a thing. Yeah, I just got you a chocolate milk. I already drank the chocolate milk on the way here. You know what? That's fair. After eating the hot Cheetos. That's fair. There you go. That is. What? It's extra clear water. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about. <clears throat> I see how you guys have your ice. What? Well, what do you mean? What's wrong with our ice? That you have it in large lumps. <laughs> yep. Y yep. <laughs> we have our ice extra large and lumpy. I, yep. You're too young. What? What? <laughs> Your mother understands. I don't know. I, I... <laughs> Why is Can I have my crisis yet now that we're home? Yeah, What's your crisis? Hold on. Sit down for a moment. Nope. Let me take a sip of my wine, and then you can have your little crisis. Awesome. Oh, I'm gonna sit down right here. <sighs> what happened? Okay. Um. Jonas pulled me into the red room and he brought up mm. that Malleus talked to him about what Jane said. 
Oh. And okay. he claimed that it was part miscommunication, partly because when he discusses business with people, he goes over every possibility of the outcome or how to go about it. Not a for sure thing, but just a possibility. And according to him, Jane took it... I'm minding you. Jane took it as a he wanted to go through with it thing. I asked him if he would let anyone hurt me. Or if he would let me get hurt. And he said that he would protect me. He would make sure that I was safe. But only if it wasn't for business. Mm -hmm. And he said, today we could be talking tomorrow I could kill you and the next day Willow could ask me to bring you back and then after that we would keep talking I see That's why I was acting weird when you walked in. Because then he immediately changed the conversation the moment that you started walking in. And that's why I was too scared to say anything. I did talk with uh, Mal about things, and he did speak with uh, Jonas, apparently, at the party. That's what he said. About everything. Mm. Yeah. Mal said not to trust Jonas. That he's dangerous at this point. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Malice isn't too happy. He was hoping that they could remain friends, but with what he's been saying and doing, he's not entirely sure from what it seems like. This does at least give us an understanding, I guess, in a way of how he might try and go about things, so. But I'd be careful on what you tell him. I, and if you're alone with him. Yeah, that was the other reason why I was at least happy that you were in the room. Because I suddenly didn't want to be there with him alone. It felt, yeah, no. it felt like I had a gun to my yeah, head. No. I won't go alone again. If anything, stick to either if Galdir's there. And if, if you need to go to that place, stick to Galdir. Mm. Or stick to one of us. Mm-hmm. Do you know why Nyx needed to don't... talk to him, or...? I'm not sure. She was curious about the mercenary work there. I think she's trying to branch out, but... Mm. 
might also be for the same reason as to why um some people are trying to get close. Maybe MMI might be trying to be in some sort of wraps. Mm. To I guess better understand the situation and how to handle it if it escalates. I'm not too sure. Did you want to say anything to, to you about it, or was it just me? No, it was just you, honey. Um, that talk tomorrow, by the way, it's gonna be about, uh, what's happening with me. The thing... I figured. ...is happening and all that. Mm hmm I figured that's what it was mm -hmm. about. Um... Those people that are coming know a lot already about what's happened. And, well, not what happened already, but a lot of them know a lot of the past more than what I do. Because they've been there, they've experienced it. Mm. So, the hope is, is that we gain a form of knowledge and an understanding of how we can go about this. I am worried though, I will definitely say that. I am very worried. Me too. You alright, Aiden? Okay, I think I feel them. If you mean your uh, ears, okay. yeah, they're they're there. Uh, mm -hmm. It's there. <laughs> That's good. That's good at least. You should probably bring that up to Mal so that he knows that that's happening. Yeah. Because it did happen when you were, quote unquote, out. No, I need to talk to him. I need to talk to John. Try to find Oops again. Talk to him. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I um, I do kind of want to go to sleep though. I I I am actually tired. I uh. That rage room really took a lot out of us. Oh, well, you went to a rage room? Kiko needed to let some energy out, considering stuff, and, um... She offered to 
pay for anyone who wanted to go with her, and I offered to pay for her hibachi, so... That's nice. I'm mm. glad that you are finding a lot more people to talk to. We made a joke that we have the same brain cell. It feels like we do. Oh, also, by the way, um, in your office, there's a bucket of ink. I don't know if you can use that for the printer or not. A bucket of ink? A bucket well, of ink? Why did you give me a bucket of ink? Remember when I said Kiko was puking up ink? Oh, no, I don't want that. So that's puke? No, it's ink. I don't want it. I don't... It's puke ink. It's ink. I don't want it. You take it. I don't want it. You can put it in the printer. I already have enough ink for the printer. I don't want it anymore. Well, I don't know Especially what... Especially vomit. Well, I don't... It's not vomit. It's ink. I just said that. I don't know what it's to do with it. Puke ink. I don't know what to do with it. I guess I'll sell it on eBay or this some is like shit. Thirteen threes in today. What the fuck? I'll sell it on eBay then. Now I'll give some of it. To, I'll give some of the money to Kiko, I guess. Uh -huh. She offered it to me, and I said, "Sure, why not." She's like, you want a bucket of ink? And I'm like, I guess. Is Someone there, is threw it... up in a bucket and gave it to you. And you took it. I'll put it in, like, containers and stuff or something. Actually, it could... I did offer you know, to put no, it in bottles is... and become Actually, the pink sauce no, lady. No, 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 I'll be right back. What? <laughs> wait, 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 before you go. No, well, I think back. she's You're gone. Second drink. No getting a second drink. Not yet, at least. At least hear me out. Hear me out, then you can go get a second drink. Okay. We put the ink in grenades. Now you can get a drink. It's my 13th reason today. Well, hear me out. Instead of paint bombs, ink bombs. Yeah? I'm making mom yeah. drink today. And that's my cue to go to bed. I'm still going I mean, to bed. Instead of using paint, we have ink and we can put them in a grenade. So if there's an invisible fucker, we'll just throw the grenade at them and boom, now they're you visible. Have a point. I always have a point. I'm edgy. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kiko admitted to being emo, so I might make her take that quiz. Ha! Ah. Let's see how emo she truly is. Are you going back for another drink? No. Okay. My limit is always two. Even if I want more, it's always two. I'm not gonna become like an alcoholic mom. And I don't drink on a, uh, that much. That's why it's only on <laughs> talking occasions. Okay. Like this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night. Good Sleep night. Well. I'm probably going to head to bed too because I'm tired. All I'm right. Very tired. Have a good one, Aiden.